the symbolism of the wolf. The ordinary symbolism of the wolf can be ignored as it derives from the rise of pastoralists and their limited view of what a wolf meant to them. But mystic symbolism is never based on these narrow, human-centric views. Instead, a mystic understands that every animal has a place and role in nature and that those as successful as the wolf should be studied to find out why. And in mystic symbolism, the wolf is almost worshipped. The worship of the wolf. Such was the admiration for the wolf that many Europeans of old used wolf as a prefix or suffix in their names. Examples include Seinewulf, Royal Wolf, Schenewulf, Bold Wolf, Ernwulf, Eagle Wolf, Edelwulf, Noble Wolf, Wolfgang, Wolfgate, and Wolf Drago, Wolf Runner. Picts and Native American Indians, too, saw the wolf as a totem animal, and one from which much could be learned. Indeed, hunter-gatherer communities did not see the wolf as an enemy or competitor, or something less than themselves. To say one hunted like a wolf was the highest compliment. Paul Verlaine In the Interminable in the interminable boredom of the plain, snow uncertain gleams like sand. The sky is of copper, without any light. One believes that you see the moon live and die. Like grey clouds, the oaks in the forest nearby float amongst the mists. The skies of copper, without any light, one believes that you see the moon live and die. A crow without breath, and you, the lean wolves, by these sharp breezes, what happens to you? In the interminable boredom of the plain, snow uncertain gleams like sand. Dogs and Wolves Wolves are their domestic dog's ancestor. The wolf is Canis lupus and are the non-domestic feral subspecies. Our dogs are Canis lupus familiaris. Wolves, jackals, dogs, coyotes and foxes can all interbreed. Even today, breeding has taken place between spaniels and wolves, huskies and wolves, foxes and dogs, and coyotes and wolves. Female wolves will breed with domestic male dogs. And in a weird and somewhat bizarre human-controlled experiment by a woman breeder in America, Alaskan Malamutes, Mastiffs, Pyrenees, Akita and Irish Wolfhounds were all cross-bred and the result is a massive dog, not dissimilar to the extinct dire wolf, Aenosian Durus, but bigger. 
As such, the only difference between the wolf Canis lupus and our dogs, Canis lupus familiaris, is that dogs have chosen us and we have chosen them. Dogs wish to collaborate with us, wolves with each other. Which might be worth bearing in mind when some dotty breeder offers you a wolf dog cross. Sometimes it will act like a dog, but sometimes it won't. The symbolic traits. So what was it about the wolf that caused it to be raised to godlike status in many ancient societies? Loyal, but independent. Soul retrieval, Dr. Alberto Villoldo. He, the wolf, informed me that he was going to teach me how to be deeply loyal to my family, as he was to the pack, yet be able to roam widely. The wolf taught me loyalty and independence. It taught me to be part of the family pack without feeling constrained by it. Another way of looking at this is that a wolf is not selfish. It thinks about the others in its pack, but does not let them restrict its need to be an individual with independent views. And once these traits was seen as being key to our survival too. Protective Wolves, both male and female, defend their pack against enemy attack. A wolf thus has to be strong as an individual and strong for the entire pack. In the eyes of the Native American Indian, for example, no animal did this as well as the wolf. What has become interesting in our modern age is that human beings no longer have packs that are fixed. They can be football supporters of a club one minute and an employer of a company that employs rivals of this club the next. And indeed, this may be one of the reasons people end up anxious, confused and lonely. They no longer have any idea where they belong who to give their loyalties to. In an age when just about every pack they might consider can turn against them, from family to country to company, no stable group exists that a person feels they can give their loyalty to, a problem which has yet to be addressed. Intelligent and adaptive. Wolves are intelligent and flexible, they can adapt and plan and reason. They can be patient and will persevere. And as a consequence, wolves and all the other canids are real survivors. And they have done so by being in balance with the environment they find themselves in. By cooperation and not conflict and not by fighting it. And once these traits were seen as being key to our survival too. rather indicating we are all now lone wolves. Observant Wolves, being silent, are alert to the smallest changes in their world. They have excellent eyesight, a superb hearing and an amazing sense of smell. And in general, it is impossible to be intelligent adaptive, protective and a good provider for your pack unless you are observant. Which makes most human beings today and their current way of living look particularly weak. They have all the attributes of prey, nurturing of young and old. Whilst the strongest members of the pack protect them, older wolves act as mentors to the young. There is direct transfer of experience and knowledge of practical skills from the old to the young. Only the best old wolves teach. The rest are given babysitting type jobs. In some cases, they just tag along in the pack until they die. 
In other words, young wolves learn only from the best old wolves, and this keeps the pack strong. And once these traits were seen as being key to our survival too. Losing the wolf in us. The loss of our inner wolf and our turn away from this beautiful creature and all it can teach us has been a disaster. Hans Peter Dua, Dream Time. According to Old Norse law, and even much later, the wolf was deprived of the protection of the law. The Saxon Spiegel, for instance, provides that by the king's orders in the land of Saxony, wild animals were to be left in peace, except for bears, wolves and foxes. Which is maybe why we have become rabbits in the glare of the headlights of other very dangerous predators. Sharks, even. Fearful, lonely, procreating with abandon, even though our surroundings are ill able to support us all, only out for ourselves and our survival. Be a wolf again. Thank you.